Hey folks, John with Altered Arms Self-Defense, your friend in less than lethal self-defense. All right guys, you know what? Just a minute, take a second. Grab yourself some coffee, grab yourself some tea, grab yourself some dinner, grab yourself whatever you need because we're in for a long ride. Here we go. Alright guys, so as a lot of you guys know, last week was SHOT Show, and I had so much fun out there. I got to, to speak to people I'd never heard of, I'd, I'd never even considered talking to in the past, and that is really the reason I go, guys, because a lot of these companies will have products that are absolutely fantastic, we'll never know anything about them, because they just don't advertise heavy, and... I understand that. It's very expensive to advertise, especially nationally, and it's hard to break into a market that's held by the big guys. You know that. Well, without further ado, we're going to take a look at some of the interviews we got at SHOT Show. I'm going to bulk all these into one video right now, and then I will break these up into individual interviews over the week, so you guys will be able to kind of take it in bite-sized uh, bite chunks. Also, you may have noticed our audio should be completely different. I finally went out and I got a decent microphone, a, a lavalier setup, so what you're hearing should be a whole lot clearer. I'll find that in uh, post-processing, and if it isn't, I swear I'm going to throw something at the window, I'll tell you. But let's get this started. You know I had to find Salt Supply right off the bat. They had their new launcher actually in what they call the new products area of SHOT Show, and it was awesome. Check this out. All right, folks, so I'm here with, get this, the CEO of Salt Supply. This is Eric. Eric, tell me a little bit about this thing. This is nuts. Yeah, so this is our uh, latest offering, the S2. Um, it's a five-shot magazine, uh, five plus one, so you can drop one in and uh, carry six if you want. 12-gram uh, CO2. Bottom puncture, which uh, people are familiar with now, has become sort of a standard, uh, obvious spent magazine is set to release only when it's on safe, so that prevents somebody from accidentally being able to uh, you know, shoot themselves in the hand trying to get their magazine out. Awesome. One thing that we focused on is really making it user-friendly for people who may not be as familiar with firearms or less lethal. So our goal, as you know, is to uh, expand the market, expand the addressable market, uh, and so the features on this are, are kind of tailored to that. Absolutely. Now, you had mentioned to me, we had talked one time why they had chosen to go with the front load feature, uh, something to do with the amount of power you're able to get out of it. I can't remember what you said. Yeah, so the uh, CO2, using a front load magazine allows you to invert the CO2. And with the CO2 inverted, uh, it optimizes the, uh, the efficiency. It also prevents the liquid portion of the CO2 uh, from entering the valve chamber. So you get gas um, as opposed to liquid, which improves the consistency of the velocity. Awesome. Does that also eliminate some of the wear and tear from that freezing temperatures on your seals and O-rings, I would imagine? Yeah, the, controlling the liquid obviously helps with that right. as it goes through the valve. And uh, I couldn't help but notice that uh, you're, 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 you got a new box here. What, uh, what's this company right here? What's going on? Yeah, so uh, <laughs> SHOT Show, we've uh, been very proud to announce our partnership with Mace uh, Security. So Mace is obviously one of the most storied brands in personal protection. Um, the stopping power of their sprays is known far and wide. Yes, it is. Um, so we've, we've worked with Mace for some time now, come up with a new formulation of pepper tear gas, uh, ultra potent round. And uh, we'll be distributing the products as will Mace uh, in our partnerships. That's awesome. And guys, we're going to be talking to Mace here in just a little bit about this exact same partnership. This is huge. And I remember you, I, I teased you guys with this a little bit, but this is a perfect partnership. And we're going to see some crazy products come out of this, I can pretty much guarantee it. And I, everybody here knows I'm a huge fan of Salt Supply, I always have been. Thank you so much for talking to us. My pleasure. And I can't wait to see what you guys keep coming up with. This is insane. Likewise. Appreciate Thank you. you. Right? I mean, seriously. Now, granted, everybody on this channel has already seen that launcher because the night they released that, I already had the video prepped and ready to release for you guys. So, and then, of course, a lot of you have already seen the Wife Fire series. So the first two videos for that launcher was us for you. And I knew you guys would really get a kick out of that. Now, the next one is Guard Dog Security. Now, you guys remember 
the Guard Dog Fireball. Now, I'm not going to lie. It was a decent launcher. A uh, little cheaply constructed as far as the plastic goes, but overall, it functioned well out of the box. But all of a sudden, it just vaporized. Well, now we know why. Check it out. <laughs> you are. No. All right, guys, so we're here with Eric from our friends at Guard Dog Security. You all know this. Now, before we start, a sad moment. Everybody, bow your head. The fireball <laughs> has been discontinued. So we don't get a fireball anymore. So the one I have is a collector's item, so go back and watch that video. But Eric, tell me about what you guys do have. You got new stuff this year. All right, so yes, we do. We have a lot of new stuff. Uh, if you guys want to follow me. Lead on. Right around this corner. Right here, so I think you can see right here. Yeah, we have some of our yeah, there's more wind blowback. Uh, we get all the spray with a glass breaker built in. Yeah, nice. So, if you have to escape out of any you know situation, break out of a car, a window, or anything, uh, we have that option for you, but now with a bling it on it. I like that. And it seems like it's pretty light. So well, you twist the bottom off and it comes off. You got a glass breaker built in. Yes, and what, what kind of pricing do these typically come in at? Uh, with the glass breaker ones, we can do uh, uh, retail. I yeah, retail. Um, I say maybe like 14, 15. Guys, you hear that? We're talking like 15, 20 bucks on the high side. Yeah. These things are really, really, really cool. Yeah. And I love the fact that it does have the glass breaker because that is an added benefit to just the pepper spray. So that's really, really cool. And as you can see, there's obviously no shortage of uh, <laughs> models or colors there. That's pretty great. Yeah, we got a lot of options for you. you that's right, that's right. What do we got going on over here? Over here, as you can see, we have our bookkeeper, which is a portable lockbox. Awesome. So, you know, Webster Dictionary. Dictionary, you know, yeah, dictionary. dictionary, got it. We actually, you can lock all your stuff up here. You know, it's discreet, no one really knows. You know, got a little key. All right, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's uh, really cool if you want to check it out. Check that out, guys. Got an actual lock box built into it. Yeah. That's pretty darn cool. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. All right. We have uh, some uh, window breaker and seat belt covers. So this nice. is a new product. Uh, really tiny, portable. Uh, you wouldn't even know what this is, but that's the, the beauty in it. So. Yeah, and guys, I would tell you, um, this is something that every car ought to have. If you ever get trapped in a car, this will cut the seat belt so that you can get out, especially in a water escape or say you've got a door that's crunched in. This is something that is absolutely invaluable. You need one of those. Um, and the addition of a breaker is just all that much better, but definitely should have one of those. Uh, rescue, love it. All right, what else we got going here? All right. So this is in case you want to lock anything up. Uh, it's easy to install. Uh, basically, if there's anything you need to lock up and like gun, guns and things like that, make sure nothing goes off. We have that and for other products as well. So just bring it with you, like, you know. That's awesome. Whatever, you need hey. to lock home, home and travel safety. So. And you've got it covered, that's what counts. Yeah, we got awesome. everything, so. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, man, this is great. As usual, man, Guard Dog has always got cool stuff for us, maybe. They'll bring back a launcher. Maybe. We, maybe they'll If they do, you know we're going to have it. Thank yeah, you so much, of man. Of course. Anytime. Great to meet you. <laughs> noticed that when I mentioned that uh, it had been discontinued, he did not look sad. He actually looked kind of, woohoo! Well, I think that has to do with the fact that there may have been, guys, that was dead on copy of uh, uh, an HTP 50. Everybody knows that. So I'm pretty sure there was some fun legal problems there, but nobody could tell me that, of course. So you know how that goes. Now, our next one. Before we talk about this, guys, I want you to remember we're going to be nice because I know the stress and the strain that this company has been under to get off the ground. And it is very important to me that they succeed, especially in this market. And you'll understand why in a second. Let's check out Grimberg. Here we go. Okay, go. All right, guys. So I found Kurt over at Grimberg. Stop it. I know what you're thinking. I, I found Kurt at Grimberg, and here he is. Dude, you got to see the, some of the new colors that they came out with these launchers. Kurt, tell me a little bit about what we got going on now. Well, I guess he, here's one of our launchers all decked out. If you don't whistle at that, you're not watching close enough. <laughs> it's, it's got a, an optics cut for a shield footprint. Any uh, red dot with the shield footprint will fit. 
We've got a, a four slot. I think, is it four? Yeah, it's four slot. Yeah, four slot Picatinny rail. That's awesome. Up front. Um, th this is the Greenberg Gavel. Here's our here's our logo in here. That's uh, awesome. It's a 36 joule less lethal launcher. It uses, uh, well, it used to use a 12 gram CO2, but now we're up to 16. Uh, we've upgraded, there's a bolt, the bolt O-ring in here. Since we've, every unit we've shipped since November 1st, we've not had one bolt O-ring come back broken, or anybody complain of a broken O-ring. We're, awesome. uh, we're using a, a really good brand. Now for you guys listening to this, listen to what he just said. 36 joules out of the box. That is the highest power launcher you can currently get out of the box without any modifications, straight up. That is a powerful, powerful unit. All right, head on. Okay, now that's with a 12 gram CO2. Okay. When you use a 16 gram CO2, we're up to 39 joules. 39 joules. Yes. Yeah. Wow. Out, out of the box. Um, and the only thing, it, now you can buy CO2, our CO2 is a little bit expensive, but now you can use uh, any 16 gram CO2 as long as uh, the hole under here is 0.1 inches or bigger, the hole under the top foil. And it's better if you get them for like beer making because they're food grade. For beer making, got it. And the um, they filter the compressor dust before they fill up the cylinders. So you don't mess up the weapon internally. Yeah. Got it. If you if, if you have a look at here, we've got a thin airline, and then underneath this back cap, there's a couple orifices that are uh, 0 .0, 0 0.01 uh, inches. That that's the orifice size, and that can get clogged if there's too much compressor dust. We might open it up a little bit, maybe in the next batch of launchers, we'll make it 0 0.02. Okay. Uh, and, and then we'll see how it does. But uh, Guys, do you see the, the, the build quality on this? I mean, that is that is a machined part all the way through. So you're not dealing with plastic, you're not dealing with real thin material. That is solid as a rock all the way through. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's a little bit more expensive than the competitors, but it's made in America and it's made to like an American standard. Yeah, and you've heard what I've said, you get what you pay for, and that's a fact. And if you're gonna depend your life on something, get what you want, get what you need, get the power for sure. Now, everybody's familiar with these launchers. They have detents, little rubber detents inside. I wanna show you something neat we came up with. We haven't implemented it yet on the launcher, but here's a magnet, and our projectiles are now made with iron powder instead of copper, and our, our uh, kinetics rounds, which are uh, irritant OC and PAVA Both. powder. Awesome. Plus iron powder. That's so awesome. So when they hit, they carry, these are six grams, they carry, they, they you know, pack a punch. A six gram pepper ball, guys. Do the so, math on that. I mean, these these things are really, they're magnetic. Uh, and, and that means, in a little bit, we're going to be able to work in some magnetic detents so that you don't have the little rubber fingers or, you know, did it stop? Okay. So, I know you're good. All, all, all detents, I mean, these detents, eventually they'll break. Some detents cause jams and other brands. Yep. But now we're going to have touchless uh, magnetic detents where it'll have way less problems. Right. So, guys, okay, do the math on this. Solid aluminum, magnetic detents, that's eliminating a rubber part that you do have to maintain in a launcher, you have to. So you're eliminating that right off the bat. You've got the ability to use 12 or 16 gram cartridges. You can get almost, what, 39, almost 40 joules out of the box. That is brutal. Not to mention the fact that they're doing the OC Pava combination on pepper balls, which we have talked about a lot. And it's just solid as a brick. I mean, you definitely get what you pay for. Yeah, this is one, and as you can see, multiple color options. And I promise we'll get one. I Stop it. I see you out there. I promise we'll get one on the channel. But, Kurt, thank you so much, man. I really do appreciate it. We're going to be uh, talking in the future, I guarantee it. All right, appreciate it, man. Now, guys, 
That is the guy that I talk to literally every single time on emails. Um, they are a, a, a pretty small company. It's, it's a family-owned kind of business, um, and sales really do affect their bottom line. I mean, every week, one week of sales can wipe them out. It's that, that's kind of the way small businesses are, including mine. I know how that is. Um, but we did have a very constructive talk after that interview, and I think we got things kind of lined up here. So hopefully, guys, cross everything you got. Maybe we'll see a Grimberg on the channel here very soon. That's for sure. Now, our next one. Man, these are our friends over at Valken. Um, we get to quash a rumor right off the bat. Here we go. All right, guys, so I found our friends over at Valken. All right, first I wanna squash a rumor. So we had a rumor out there about the M17 or the CQMF going away. That he knows of, they're not going away. They had some stock problems, but they're coming back in, so don't worry about that. But I just happened to be at their booth and I gotta show you something. So this is Chris from Valken. And I want you to take a look at this new launcher that they're releasing. This is the Ripsaw. Tell us a little bit about it, Chris. So the Ripsaw is a new modular paintball gun. Um, it's designed to be completely modular so you can build it in different configurations. Um, means you can run a uh, tank straight off the bottom of the pistol grip. You can run a remote line like in this example. Um, you can run a 13 or 26 CI uh, tank off the back of it. Um, so it's, it's completely modular. Uh, as you can see, different variants here. This one's with a tank. And uh, I don't know if it'll come out on the camera, but as you can see from the, the brochure, um, there's different configurations of stock. Uh, the, the tank on the bottom here, if you want to run it off the pistol grip, you can run it mag-fed or hop-fed. Um, and also front-end configurations as well for you. And this is wonderful. Now, when will this be available? Um, I think it's going to be available in the next couple of months. So, next couple of months. Yeah, yeah. You should start. The literature's out already. Um, they're taking orders um, pretty soon. So hit up your dealer and they'll be able to sort you out. Wonderful, wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Chris. I guarantee you guys when this is out, it will be on the channel. You know it. Thank you again. All right. So as you saw, per the representative, the CQMF and M17 are not going anywhere, at least that he knows of. So unless it's something that he isn't aware of, we're good to go there. We don't have to worry about it. That's good, right? Because I'm a big fan of those launchers. They're just wonderful. Now, this company, guys, we must do whatever it takes to see that these guys succeed. Um, I, I've been told one of their launchers is, you know what? No, 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 no. Check out Paradigm. Here we go. Stop. All right, guys, so I, I've never heard of this company before, and I feel like I ought to apologize to you guys. So right now, we found Paradigm Tactical Systems, and I ran into David. Guys, you aren't going to believe what this is, what it's capable of, and more importantly, what you can build it into. So David, tell us a little bit about this. Yeah, so uh, Paradigm Tactical was uh, founded under the auspices of uh, you know, protection uh, of, of all parties involved. Uh, obviously, uh, when you use a real firearm, um, there's only one of those uh, people who are going to get to go home, more than likely. Um, and that person that does get to go home, they're going to have a, a, quite a battle on, on their hands. So, we originally started out in the law enforcement, and that's where we have our green guns over here. But then we also want to jump into the home defense and the personal defense. Uh, so, this platform was originally designed um, for the uh, French. French uh, kind of looked into us to try to develop a compact rifle that they could put in their back and literally ride their bikes around. It's not like here in the United States. Uh, they do a lot of walking over there and they do a lot of uh, uh, bike riding. So they wanted something compact that had more power than a pistol. Right. So what we have here is our uh, is our uh, PTX pull up. Guys, by the way, these videos not doing this justice. If you see this in real life, it's something else. Yep. So, uh, just real quickly, we uh, we have our own proprietary um, operating system. We manufacture everything in the uh, Northeast Indiana area. Uh, the upper receiver is machined in house. The rig body is machined in house. Um, all of the internals are made on Swiss slaves in the Fort Wayne area. So, very highly precise machining is done. Uh, just kind of an overview of our product. 
Uh, the operating system is a closed bolt operating. So what that means is the bolt is in the forward position. The round is chambered in the breech. When you pull the trigger, the only thing that hits the, the round is air pressure. The round goes out the barrel, the bolt retracts back, another round chambers up, you release the trigger, the bolt closes, and now you're ready for the next round. The magazines are good for 15 to 18 rounds. We try to say, start at 15, let the mags break in, then you can move up to the 18 rounds. Ambidextrous mag release on the bottom. The release is actually in the grip itself, so I can, do, I can transition left or right hand. We also have an isolation on the air tank. You notice the air tank is below the, below the uh, barrel? Yep. We can run anything from an aluminum 13.3 all the way up to a 45.17. The 45.17, you're gonna get approximately 240 to 280, somewhere in that neighborhood, I believe. Uh, on the 13.3, you're about 120, 120 shots. That's at 350 feet per second on a 3.4 gram projectile. That is awesome. And now, the, uh, if you're pressurized in here, do you have a quick pressurized and release or do you recommend leaving it pressurized? No, no, so that's a great question. Yes. So, because it's a closed bolt, one of the nice things we can do is we can isolate the tank so that the tank will deplete. Right. So, for instance, if this is push button, if we push this push button to, to this side, it is now air on. Obviously, we don't have air in the tank. So it is now aired up, the gun is ready to go. As soon as we want to um, put the gun away, we literally just push that pin to the side and now the gun is degassed. It'll degas the entire backside of the gun and we put it up on a shelf. So guys, let me put that to you in layman's terms. For home defense, you leave this thing, the, the tank is charged at all times. When you need it, you pull it out, charge the weapon by pushing that button and you're ready to rock. When you're done, you can push it to release the gas. You don't have to worry about wearing tail like the seals on the inside. That's a big one too. So, all right, and you're saying you're gonna get how many rounds out of 113 cubic inch on average? Yes, yeah, so you get, yeah, right around 120. 120. 120. 120 wow. on a 13.3. Start moving into the carbon fibers so you can really kind of start increasing your uh, shot count. Wow. Do you have an idea what retail is gonna be on? Yeah, so these are 1250. 1250, guys. Do the comparison on what we're talking about. Nothing compares to that. Nothing that I've seen so far, anyway. Yep. So, uh, awesome. Last bit is service maintenance is super easy. We got the two pins in the back that pulls out the rubber bat cap. You remove this one pin and the entire guts comes out the back. You can service all your O-rings, put it back together with those pins, you're ready to back, go back to go. Now, when you get the retail version, does it have extra O-rings or any other thing yeah, in Yeah, it'll come with O-rings. You can see our, uh, we've got our uh, marketing down here. These are the boxes that'll come in only, uh, to protect the product. Uh, so for $12.50, you're going to get the air tank, you're going to get two magazines, and you're going to get the gun as it sits. In addition to that, you can also get accessories. You see we've got a rail riser. This is a must if you're actually going to put some sort of optic on there. You do not get as near, nearly as much flex out of a metal to metal contact. If it's just a, a quick, dirty red dot, you can easily mount directly here. But if you want something more recent, you definitely want to go aluminum to aluminum. Gotcha. It ties, it ties all of this and the barrel together. And are these currently available? They are. They, they are, are currently absolutely. available. Guys, I will have links to his website and everything else for this product on this video. So don't miss that. Thank you. So, and by the way, yeah, I'll work on getting one for the channel. I know who you are, and you keep telling me to do that. All right. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Great to meet you, and we will be talking. Now guys, if you can look at that launcher and not tell me that that is not one of the most amazing pieces of hardware you've seen. You know, it was funny when I first walked up to the booth, I kept thinking to myself, if that thing had an ammo counter on the side that would actually count down, that would be totally the rifle from Aliens. I'm just, I'm just going to say it looks like it. It actually feels amazing. It's got a lot of weight to it and it's center heavy. So it's balanced perfectly when you've got the bottle on. Um, that'll use two different kinds of bottles. It'll use different kinds of ammunition. Guys, this thing is going to revolutionize the market if we can get them out there. Uh, hopefully, and my wife has already started emailing all these people out. We'll be able to get one of these on the channel and then head to head it with all of the big boys. And you know who I'm talking about. And, um, maybe we'll be able to give them a little bit of assistance here. Cause I want to see that company succeed for sure. Now, look. 
You all knew that we were not going to get away from SHOT Show without seeing Humorex. And okay, I did not waste my time for you guys. I didn't go down there and look at airsoft guns and look at the BB guns. Well, okay, yes I did, but I didn't film it. Um, there was really nothing new on that front. It was kind of the same stuff they had last year. And of course, you know, like the grease gun was a, a new release and stuff like that. Um, but nothing really new on that end. However, man, Troy. Okay, this is Troy at Humorex. This guy I talk to at least once or twice a week. So I know him really, really well. Check this out. Now, guys, you know that no trip to SHOT Show would be complete without uh, hitting up Troy at Humorex. Every one of you guys knows that I talk to Humorex quite a bit, but he didn't tell me about a few new items. Not nice, Troy. All right, man. So, Troy, tell us about some of the new toys we got going here. We have a new pepper pistol. This is a gel launcher. It has a tactical light, and it'll hold a regular two ounce gel you get about 20 feet of accuracy and then when you shoot it it's ready to go and you just spray somebody down that's the new item awesome now do you know what retail these are going to shoot I, at i need to double check i okay. can't remember all right I, no problem we'll check I we'll get back had on to have the retail on this that's all right and y'all know that scully will be getting one of those in the face and we'll be getting one in shortly so don't worry all right okay and for the pepper we've had a new pepper ball this, this, for the round to shoot, actually comes with a steel core. Gotcha. You're gonna have 7% pava, and an accuracy, you're gonna be able to bust on a torso more than twice the distance of most regular rounds now, up to uh, 100, probably 20 feet. Wow. And you can see in here it has, there's, it doesn't hurt much more than a regular round. Right. The steel ball has no effect on that, it's just, it's just there to add the accuracy at a longer distance. And I would I would imagine that you're, you're adding considerable impact as well because you're going to get heavier on the round from, right. a, from a pepper ball, right? But yeah. it hits a little bit, but the, the, the powder from the pepper and the plastic, it makes it shatter. So it's going to, because if you shoot somebody farther than 50 feet with most pepper rounds, they don't bust. That's, yes. This will. Right. We have it in the 68 now, and then we will have a 50 late in the year. 50 later on. Awesome. That's wonderful. What is this? Because, you know, a lot of people know what that is, but uh, we haven't had one yet. What we we are real close to final. We had to wait for this before we could officially bring this out. With awesome. Four, with up to 40 joules of energy. 40 this, joules, guys. You heard it. So it comes out. It'll be the 40 joule will only be in the orange, but you know, the furniture is the same as the, the 16 joule we have now. And same options, but it has the options for the 88 gram which allows you a lot more shots at the energy. And an adapter, you can use 212 grams. 212 grams, that is awesome. So that way it's all hidden. And so it should have enough room to put the adapter so you can take off your 88 gram without running out it and you're just losing your air. So that's awesome. You can awesome. buy the adapter and make work with it. So guys, that is a huge upgrade over that shotgun, if you recall. Because you're using two, uh, uh, 12 grams back to back, hit it to puncture it. That's gonna give you quite a bit, a whole lot more shots for sure. So if you're going with a 40 joule version, you're using more air per shot, that's a great option. That is. Well, what, now, everybody else has seen the new T4E because they've been on my channel, but tell us a little bit about the uh, the PDP there. Uh, yeah, the PDP comes in black or blue, training, 43 caliber, just like all the others, reliability, function, identical, quality, and by the way, I did verify he is 100% correct. The uh, PPQ mag will fire in the PDP, but not vice versa. Right. Right. Yep. And it's all because of the top of the mag, the slits has to be there for the optics yep. in the top of the mag. Uh, and yes, guys, he said optics. That is a wonderful thing. Optics available on this. But, well, Troy, this is awesome, man. As usual, what do you got? Uh oh, he's giving me a what do we got? Uh -huh. Oh, what do we got oh. here? Dude, those are heavy. Those are heavy. They're glass breakers, but that's our uh, 43 caliber glass breakers. See, Troy doesn't know it, but I'm gonna stick these in my pocket. No, I'm, <laughs> I'm not really gonna put them in. But we need to get some of these in. If they are glass breakers, we are gonna test those. I like that concept. So it's quick access. We have 68 and 50. Oh, 68 and so you got all three of every size. That is awesome, because glass breakers are something that people have been asking me to test on the channel. 
We'll get some of those in too. Four weeks. Maybe it's real close. I have All right. It's four weeks. The stuff they offer. This is actually the packaging from Europe. Some of the numbers. You see the numbers. Awesome. This is our samples. That's we, they've already got there. So we have our own. So guys, what do we hear? We got new ammo to test. We got new launchers to test. We have new delivery systems to test, and we have new all new pepper balls. They don't stop. It just keeps on coming. Thank you so much, Troy. Okay. We'll Thank see you. you in a bit. All right. So. We end up with a pepper gel launcher. We end up with the 40 Joule um, HDX. And guys, the second those are available, we will get them in. I promise you I'll have that. That is what the new adapter is for. Now, somebody had asked about that new adapter in, in uh, uh, a comment recently. That adapter, you can literally just adapt two 12-gram cartridges right to the back of that. You can adapt a bottle right to the back of it with no extra parts. It's all there in the box and ready to go. That is huge. And then lest we forget the PDP. Um, I know you guys want a PDP. I know we have been talking about getting the PDPs. We should have those in shortly. I just talked to UMREX. They're not in yet, but I'm going to harass them endlessly until we get them. So, and that's for you. I got a big old order waiting. As soon as they get there, they're coming in. So stay tuned on that one. Now let's check on the big boys. Now you guys know who I'm talking about. You know, I EDC a burnout. I actually alternate between three different launchers. Although I got to tell you, I may start EDCing the salt supply because the Berna LE and the salt supply are really darn close as far as size goes. But hey, that's for another video, right? It really is. Let's talk to Berna. Let's see what's going on. Oh, and by the way, there is a surprise. All right, folks, now you know I was going to find Berna. There was no way we were leaving this show without finding Berna. And as it turns out, there is a little bit of news for you. Now, everybody knows the Berna EP. You guys have seen the video. It's a great launcher. I never had any problems with it. But they're not going to have it anymore. Too many, I, it's the safety thing. We talked about that on the video. But that's all right, because that leaves, well, you know what that leaves. But look who I found. I ran into Josh. And uh, is it what, te what did happen is they're changing up the shotgun round and making it even more effective than it was in that video and you saw what it did to Scully. So what do you, what you got going? Yeah, absolutely. So this is our, our original 12 gauge design. As you can see, we have a pretty straight, uh, you know, straight sides on the, uh, the Sabo here. So what we've actually done is we realized that we can be a little bit more efficient with this Sabo by taking it and really form fitting it around the actual projectile itself. What this also allowed us to do was add a spring-loaded mechanism to the back of the Sabo ring. So what happens is now as soon as the Sabo clears the barrel, it actually springs itself open very, very symmetrically. Once we got into really doing some really additional testing and really high speed and whatnot, what we noticed was every now and again what we would see is one of these would fly off a fraction of a second before the other one would, and we would get a, you know, a small, it would pull around just, just a tiny minute in that direction. And so we said, man, that's, how can we fix that? And by adding that spring on the back and allowing that Sabo to just really come out right. very symmetrically, as soon as it leaves the barrel, man, it doesn't have any effect on the round now. So we're getting even more increased accuracy and more efficiency out of the round since it's, it's not being touched when it comes out of that barrel, allowing it to travel further with more energy. That is awesome. Now these are currently available on your site. Absolutely. Absolutely. Have been for the last few months. All right, guys, yeah. I will get some of these on the channel. So we will run another test with Scully and blow another one apart for you because I want to see what it does as well. And he laughs every time we destroy a Scully. So, anything else coming out? Anything else we need to know about? No, that's not really. We, we've done a uh, kind of a, this last few months, this last six months, really taking a look at what part of our products we can really make sure that are top notch. Our, our rounds, the actual shells on our rounds, we've redesigned kind of the way we score them from the inside. So now they break much more consistently. Uh, so now it's much, we have a better expectation of, of the break rate and it's going to break much more consistently. So we, we've really taken some feedback that we've gotten from our consumer base out there and said, how how can we really improve some of the things that we have to answer some of those questions and, and uh, take some of the suggestions that we've had from everyone out there to, to try to make what we have even better. Awesome, awesome. Well, hey, Josh, thank you again, Absolutely. man. I appreciate it. Everybody on the channel, you know we're a Berna fan. Always will be. All right, well, have a good one. We'll talk to you in a bit. Thank you, brother. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you that that surprised me. Um, the elimination of the EP, I think, 
it, it, it needed to happen sooner than later. Um, a lot of people were complaining about, about that lack of safety. And not so much because they were like popping themselves in the foot or something, but be people just couldn't rationalize pulling it and losing the velocity on that first round because you couldn't charge it on safety and then put it on fire. Um, we had a long talk about this, and you, you guys actually saw kind of my counterpart over there, the, the bald guy you saw. That's actually their social media guy. So if you get on their uh, YouTube channel, you'll see him on there. He kind of does what I do. Um, super cool dude, but you kind of heard him explain what had happened. Now, that's not, you know, the EP, okay, fine. It can go away. The LE is a good enough launcher as it is. But I was very excited about the new design on their shells. Um, those kinetic shotgun shells, I've got some of those coming in. We will do another video on those. Um, the, you remember when we did the video on them, um, and guys, you can go back and watch all these videos, but at, when we were at that 15 foot range, we had launched one at Scully and it had embedded in Scully, including the case that was around the cartridge. So, I mean, the whole thing kind of went in and just embedded. That is what this new design does. It actually, when it comes out, it forces it apart so that it's just a projectile moving forward and gives it a spin so that you've got some accuracy to it, which is really, really cool. And if I, I mean, it's, it's great that they're evolving this. It really is. Another thing, when I was out there, we were talking about looking for a holster manufacturer and guys, they were far and wide. Let me tell you, there were holster guys everywhere, but I couldn't just go find somebody that made another Kydex holster or, uh, you know, custom made leather holsters. That really wasn't what we were looking for. I wanted something, one place that we could go to get everything. And I found a really cool place called Sticky Holsters. And I know it sounds gross, right? Check them out. All right, folks. So one of the big complaints you always have is finding the holster for that less than lethal launcher. You know what? I think I may have run into the solution for you by accident at SHOT Show. So I'm over here with Eric at Sticky Holsters. Check these things out, Eric. Tell us something about this. So our holsters are the original clipless inside the waistband or pocket holster. They're all 100% American made and have a lifetime craftsmanship warranty. And we started talking about less, less than lethal options. And uh, the Kimber Pepper Blaster 2, it's fantastic in our SM3 holster. We make specific holsters for Taser products. They've all been tested and approved by Taser as well. We make a pulse holster and we make a bolt holster, um, which is inside the waistband and then an outside the waistband option as well. And you had mentioned the Verna. Yep, the Verna. Um, the Verna will fit in our LG6 Short Modified as an oversized trigger guard, um, a little bigger profile, so we have to put it in the modified version so it fits. And that's awesome. And I noticed over here, guys, what really caught my eye is that they had an M and P in one of the holsters over here. That means it's, they are going to have a holster that covers the entire Umarex line of T4E launchers. Um, not to mention the fact that the Pepperball Compact, there is a case right there that would fit that compact, and you guys know how hard that is to find. I will get Eric's information, and we will put sticky holsters down in the description area. But I would really, I, this is something I'd like to see you guys get into and check these things. Hey, check this out, guys. Watch this. Sticky holster, right? No clip. It goes inside the belt loop. And that's it. Draws. Just like that. That is awesome. So check them out, guys. I know you'll like it. Perfect. So the cool thing about those holsters, guys, number one, uh, you can get them with clips on them for your belt, but you don't have to. They will literally fit between your body and your belt and they don't move and they're not uncomfortable. They're actually very comfortable and you can draw your weapon out of them without actually pulling the holster out. It's a really, really cool concept. Um, and they have literally got holsters that are already designed to fit the entire T4E line but the larger ones will fit the Burnas. They actually have stuff that's designed for it. And if it's gonna fit the Burna, you know it's gonna fit the Grimberg and you know it's gonna fit the salt supply. And that's really, really cool. So we'll, we'll definitely get some more of the, uh, get some sticky holsters in here and uh, hopefully we'll have those for you guys in the future. I finally found somebody we can use. That's really cool. Now the next one, guys, this one will knock your fricking socks off. If this launcher is good, and I'm going to say this with a grain of salt, guys, because I, I've only seen it and I've held it, and it's okay. If it's good, it is going to send waves through the less than lethal community. This is the new Sabre launcher. Check this out. All right, guys, so I'm out here and we located the Sabre booth. 
you knew I had to come out here. Remember last year when we came out, they actually pulled a launcher off the table because it wasn't ready yet. Well, guess what is now ready, guys? Check this out. This is the new Sabre Home Defense Projectile Launcher. And if you'll notice, the basic size on this thing is, is pretty darn close to, I'd say, a Berna, maybe like an LE, um, or a Pepperball TRP or TCP. Um, it is actually seven round magazine exactly like the tcp you guys have seen this before seven rounds these are ball ammo so not shaped ammo from what i understand 12 gram co2 cartridge and it's going to come in a full kit like this with the pepper balls and the inert balls along with the launcher itself now guys here's the kicker on this they're talking about this firing close to 350 feet per second on the standard rounds that come with these so we're assuming that's probably right at the 18 to 20 joule range but here's the kicker. It's coming in at $149 retail. 150 bucks for this launcher. Now, granted the only issue is it's going to only come in yellow, but we all know how to solve that little problem. But Saber, we were looking for this one. It is now out. And as you can see, that is going to be the box kit. Guys, I'm gonna work on getting one of these for the channel because we really wanna head to head this and you know who we're gonna put it against. And I have a feeling it's going to do good because you guys have seen what the other Sabre does. So stay tuned for that one. Remember, guys, that's going to come in at $150. That is a serious, solid kick right in the pants to every manufacturer that puts out a 68 caliber launcher. Granted, I've got no numbers on it. So much like Grimberg, I cannot tell you what it's going to do. What I can tell you is we've got one coming. And when it comes in, we are going to do its own tests. We're gonna chrono it. We'll test it with multiple ammunition and we will put it head to head against the big boys. But if that thing pans, man, we are seriously onto something cool. Now, we started this whole thing off with salt supply. You guys will remember that. Um, salt supply is now in a direct partnership with Mace. And I'm talking about the actual company, Mace, not some generic knockoff. Hey, look, it's Mace. No, the actual company to actually have their projectiles made by Mace using their own chemical composition. Um, I don't know what that composition is. What I do know is that one conversation, somebody had mentioned 7% PAVA and OC. Guys, that's, that's, that's horrible. I'm, that, that's, that's terrible. That would just destroy a person. Whether you got a direct hit or not, it would take a very small amount to really mess you up. Actually, who am I kidding? I hope they're right. Check this out. Okay. All right, folks. Uh, now, you remember we were talking about our friends over at Salt Supply. Now we're talking to our friends over at Mace. And boy, they got some pretty cool products for you. So I'm over here with Sanjay. Yeah, this is a really cool dude, by the way. Tell us a little bit about what you got going on this year. Yeah, sure. So we introduced yeah, this product right behind me. It's called the 444 triple 444 by Base. All right. It's a low energy Bluetooth enabled device that tells people their favorite people on their contact list once the uh, item is uh, activated. Like proper Sends them the so location. We it, we'll know. <laughs> the app as well. The app is awesome. free. Thank you. Yeah, but of course. There's a subscription service. If you subscribe to it, will alert law enforcement on your location as well. So let me get this straight. This is a pepper spray that will Bluetooth link to your device and alert people if you have to engage it or use it at all. That's, that's that correct. That is huge. So in other words, law enforcement can respond almost immediately because they're going to get a notice on there. And and I'm assuming you're like a third party company that you're going to be going through like an... Uh, that is correct. That a security okay. monitoring company. Okay. So Triple Four and Mace have co-branded together. Okay. Uh, you can see the device doesn't look like anything else out in the market. It, it does looks, not. <laughs> it was designed to be that way. It's completely different and aesthetically pleasing and ergonomic. It also has got uh, exchangeable cartridges. So this is a device that you can invest, keep to yourself. When you run out, the, the pepper, call mace. We have three packs, five packs. You replace it for a very nominal price. It's got a window breaker as well. Awesome. A keychain too. And what kind of battery does it use for the actual Bluetooth? It's a lithium. A little lithium battery. And is that also changeable also? Yes. Wonderful, wonderful. Well guys, as you can see by the table here, 
We all know that Macy's had some fantastic products over the years. It looks like we are um, definitely not going to be stopping anytime in the near future. And don't forget that they're now partnered up with our boys over at Salt Supply, and you've seen that launcher. Well, stay tuned for the interview. All right, guys. Look, I didn't want to tell you about that new keychain device, but I'm going to. Mace has partnered up with another uh, young man, actually a, a couple of young men. I met these uh, at, a, at a party after uh, SHOT Show. Um, the device they were talking about on there, that little, the pepper spray, is probably one of the most innovative devices I've ever seen. And I mean that literally, which is another reason that one section is a big part of why I'm gonna break this down into little sections for you guys. Um, that pepper spray is Bluetooth linked to your cell phone. If you engage the pepper spray, it will automatically send a beacon location to anybody in your contact list and let them know that that pepper spray has been activated. Also, they are working with a third party company if you choose to have the service that will also automatically notify the police. Guys, do the math on that. That means that if you have got a serious situation with your wife, your daughter, your son, somebody out there, and they have to engage that mace, an instantaneous message comes to you. You're going to know what's going on when it happens. If you don't think that's cool, man, you need to re-examine because that is a fantastic product. The second they're out, we'll get one in here because I've got to see this thing work. And I'm very excited about it. Once again, you're talking about a couple of 20-year-old kids that came up with this and then built a prototype and then designed a final unit. You, I love this story. They're up and comers, assuming somebody doesn't snag them like, you know, Mace just did. Yeah. Now, last year at SHOT Show, guys, we met up with Pepperball. You were there. You saw the video. The video's still up. Very constructive video. We talked to him. Everything was fantastic. And I thought we were going to get a launcher in here to test because a lot of people have been asking about the TRP. Well, it never happened. And as it turns out, I think it never happened because the lady I needed to speak to never actually got the emails. However, during our little conversation this time, she did get the message and they will be sending one out for us to test. But not just that. Check this out. No, not at all. All right, guys, so you know that no visit to SHOT Show would be, would be complete, not even close to complete, without a visit to our friends over at Pepperball. And they have got some crazy new products out. Yes, I know you're harassing me for a TRP. We'll work on that. But wait till you see what's coming. I got Carl here with me. He's going to tell us a little bit about the new products that are coming out. What you got going today? Hey, uh, appreciate you being here, first of all, John. Really do. So, first thing I'm going to talk about is um, is our self defense uh, personal protection. Uh, we came out with a blast. We came out a year or so ago. Uh, gym one was good, but gym two we learned a lot as we started to actually deploy it in the real world. So, um, the blast is a single shot but multiple uh, reusable tool. So, for example, if um, I uh, need to protect myself from assault or something such as you. I have a couple of op options. If you kind of pan down to my pants pocket here, if I carry it in my pants pocket, it's simply here as I pull it out. It's, a, it's safe right now. If you can kind of look at the device, it says lie back. It aims in this direction. But as all I do is simply with my thumb rotate that trigger to the left. And as I rotate that trigger to the left, it's an immediate snap and deploy. And if you can pan up over my uh, shoulder here, that's what that cloud's going to look like on your assailant. So if that assailant is coming at you, it's going to be completely engulf and impregnate his, mu his mucus areas, his eyes, his nose, his mouth, her nose, her mouth, nose, her mouth. It's going to shut the person down immediately. And what is the contents of the powder that's being fired here? It's called PAVA, polyvaginic vanillamide, which is a food grade organic irritant. It's not a chemical agent. A lot of times we're confused with OC. We are in, in, in one sense a synthetic OC, but this is pharmaceutical grade food food grade, so is it actually an organic irritant. Gotcha. Which brings me to the next thing that we've seen a lot of success with. With this device, we have a lot of runners. We have a lot of bicyclists. We have those that are out there and find themselves under attack by a vicious animal. Somebody chasing their a dog, chasing their bike, a dog coming out chasing the runner. This acts as a great distraction device. This thing can actually 
get inside the OODA loop of that animal that's coming, the canines are not affected by the organic irritant. It has no effect on them. What does have the effect is the noise, the sound, and the visual of that blast coming at them. It completely disrupts them, turns them around. 99.9% .9 of the dog, that dog is going to abort his attack. Right. It works perfect. This is also, and uh, it takes a little training and, and personal, but once I actually deploy and hit you, I'm going to shut your eyes, your nose, your mouth. It's going to really create a very much distress for you to attempt to breathe. But if you just do decide to get coming this also works as a very good impact weapon so I can repel the attack with it still in my hand. Now that's fantastic. Now will this kit or is it available also with inert rounds for practice? Well not only just for practice a lot of times uh, and the answer is I'm going to step off camera and reach over. The answer to your question is yes. So it's inert. This is nothing but a, uh, a talc powder, almost baby powder is what we're kind of looking at. So you can practice with this, but it's also just, if say you don't want to use a chemical or organic irritant, you just hit it and the visual distraction it has the same blast, the same noise, everything. And if you don't trust your running with this, yeah, you can use it. Yes, it's for training, but also works as a distraction as itself. Okay. Gotcha. So it okay. works, works extremely well. All righty. So, um, it also comes with a holster. So we have different ways to deploy. You can carry it as you run on your bicycle. You can clip it on your handlebars. A lot of different ways. But the nice thing about this is it doesn't take a lot of training. It's simply here. Simply reach over, rotate to the left, and if you'll notice as I rotate my thumb to the left, my finger's already on that trigger and ready, ready to deploy. Now, did I see one of these with a glass breaker on the back of it? You did. Normally, I don't talk about that, uh -huh. but I will since you asked. Yes. So this has the ability to breach. This was set up and designed for law enforcement that has people that are barricaded into areas, okay. mostly vehicles when they don't want to extract. This glass breaker, if you'll look up here, pan right up here on this video, you're going to watch Joe actually tap the window very lightly, very lightly, very lightly. He's going to insert. There's a Texas State Trooper right there. He's going to see how long he can stay in that car. Uh, <laughs> Not very long. Well, I was thinking this from a safety standpoint. If you were trapped in your car in a lake or something, you could use it to actually break so, the glass to get I out. I am so glad you say that. I don't, didn't know if you realized that, but in Florida, all law enforcement officers in the state of Florida, because of the environment that they work in, are usually by policy required to carry a glass breaking round. Yep. So you're great great point to bring that up yeah if you find yourself trapped you're here it'll immediately get yourself out of a position or if you happen along somebody who is trapped you can do the rescue yourself so law enforcement officers across the state of florida are really starting to look at this and adopt it immediately for that reason as well right, so not only self-defense but a multi-purpose tool that is fantastic yeah. that so is it fantastic. works really well well, what else we got going on? Well, let's jump real fast into the uh, to the home defense. Let's talk about home defense or even on the side of the road. Say you're in your vehicle and you want to protect yourself, but you don't really have the uh, desire to carry a lethal firearm. Absolutely. Okay, there's there's people in there. I completely, totally understand why you don't want to uh, subject yourself to the liability and the recon resource, uh, excuse me, the repercussions of, of using deadly force in Absolutely. a situation. So we've developed what's called the TRP. Ours is the Tactical Response Pistol. Okay, and I'm going to reach up. Now these weapons have been cleared for the shot show, so excuse me for lasering. I don't want to be safe or... or, or, oh, or fair or enough. Get, I definitely don't want to get dinged online for it. The guy's supposed to be an expert and he's pointing the weapon at everybody. <laughs> so I've been there. So these, these are cleared. If you look down the barrel of this thing, you're going to see. And then if you look at the, the here, that's going to show me through this window right here. Mm -hmm. My weapon is clear and it's safe for me to demonstrate and show you. Yeah. Okay, so this is a six round magazine. I can deploy either a round projectile, which is here, or I can, if I desire, I can go ahead and deploy a thin stabilized projectile, which is called our VXR. The advantage over the VXR is I get a little bit more stability at range, and it weighs about 0.4 grams more than the round projectile, and which is going to give me a little stronger, a little heavier kinetic impact energy. So if somebody's wearing thick clothing you're, you're, uh, and, and you want to hit them a little harder, you're going to get a little bit more stability at range, and you're going to be able to hit just a tiny bit harder than the round projectile. However, both will effectively function and rotate through that six round mag pretty quick. And that's huge. That's huge. But let me show you what's really huge. All right. Okay. I'm going to spin this off right here and um, 
Now, this was the new function that was introduced specifically for this one, correct? Absolutely. The original the, magazines had the CO2 cartridge built into the actual magazine. Exactly, yep. which gave it a tactical disadvantage during, during stressful situations. We recognize that when adrenaline is at its highest, we lose our dexterity, yeah, our ability true. to use our fingers, the ability to really concentrate on fine motor skills. So this gives us a little bit more of an option that we can do. We go ahead and drop our standard 12 gram CO2 into the hole. We set it here and now we load our weapon and we put it by our nightstand. We put it in our glove box. We put it under our seat. Let's say, for example, now this weapon has been sitting here for six months, eight months. A year from now, I perceive a threat. The weapon is just as ready to go a year from now as it is right now. And the reason for that is, is my CO2, okay, and my shelf life on my projectiles are well within the manufacturer's range. Absolutely. Okay? So, the weapon, I see the threat, is all I do is, boom. Just a firm slap to the bottom. That's a, a uh, slap puncture. It immediately charges my weapon and makes it ready for deployment. I point six rounds, rapid fire, hit my target. Now, keep in mind, we've also introduced the green dot laser onto this. Notice you probably didn't even see it there. Yep. Okay, but it's very easy. It's at your thumb, boom, green dot laser. Monday on the range, we were actually hitting targets 30, 35 meters out, easy, dead on. Okay? Using the, the, the VXR rounds? Using the VXR rounds. Wonderful. Dead center, is, you're not gonna lose that. You're not gonna lose the stability and the accuracy that you would with the round projectiles, right. which makes sense. So here, I deploy six, yep. immediately drop my mag, second mag in, deploy again, that's 12, strip it, back again. 18, I'm still on the same 12 gram CO2. Okay. I've deployed 18 grams, and we've shown that in less than freezing temperature, CO2 is affected by sub-freezing temperatures. Correct. Right. So you're gonna lose some of the uh, round count when, you're, when your uh, launcher gets down around freezing. Right. CO2 is not your best option. Right. But anything above that, you're good to go. 18 to 20 rounds is what we're, we're seeing. Same velocity, same accuracy, no drop in performance. And on the note, velocity. What kind of velocity are we getting out of these and, and uh, jewel rating out of them? Outstanding. So what we're running into is we're running into about 300 feet per second on average. Okay. 285, 290, 300 feet per second. And we're hitting the human body at about 10 to 12 foot pounds. 10 to 12, so you're talking about 20 joules, yes. give or take. Okay, yeah. gotcha. A little bit less, 20, about 20 joules is about average. Okay. Yep. So, yeah, so that, that's what we're doing. So and we're that well, remains consistent throughout multiple? Right across it. From, wow. From okay. the time you pull your first shot to the time you pull 18. Now, this is the reason I stopped it at 18. If you heard what I said, that I could probably get 20 to 24, mm -hmm. I can. But what I don't want to do is I don't want to load a fourth magazine, get five rounds, and load lose pressure absolutely because that creates a problem not only in full full disclosure after about 20 rounds you lose pressure you could actually cause the round to stop and lodge in your launcher which now you've just disabled your launcher yep 18 we're a hundred percent positive that you're gonna be able to pull shoot through 18 18 18 if you haven't solved your threat by then you need to go to plan B you might want to practice more with your <laughs> you weapon might, <laughs> you might want to have a plan B yep yep gotcha so, now but, I did notice now we um, our channel we actually are in Texas and a lot of people in fact I would say a majority of the people do open carry absolutely. and I did happen to notice you had a really cool tactical holster on this one okay can you tell us about it well again you know, we, we try to focus on uh, military and law enforcement and what their their day-to-day -day needs are. Mm -hmm. This is obviously a, uh, a security, a safety holster. Mm -hmm. So, but the interesting thing about this, especially when you're dealing with non-lethal, mm -hmm. okay, is we sure don't want to get into a situation where we confuse this weapon with our duty weapon. Correct. Okay, so the carry, but anyway, so this is a little bit different, but if you'll notice when I break the, um, I'm going to go ahead and just do my thumb break, mm -hmm. but it's, I'm going to use it and I'm going to break it. Did you see what my thumb strap did? It automatically it, it automatically it drops out of my way so I don't have to reach up with the other hand. Some 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 officers will cross draw, others will carry it in a drop holster, mm -hmm. but you really don't want to have to use two hands or whatever. So you're here and it immediately clears and you clear your weapon. That is awesome. Now is this ambidextrous or do you offer left hand? Oh yeah, hand? it's not only is it ambidextrous because we can change it here on the back, mm -hmm. we also can set it up for a molly carry. Oh, a lot of officers perfect. set up with a molly carry like they would carry their tasers or anything mm -hmm. else. So yeah, it sets up to, so, so you can set up either way, so you can carry up on your chest, or you carry here, or you carry it in a drop holster. That is wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. So, 
Yeah, this is a, I gotta tell you guys, uh, you've seen a lot of the, a lot of their products on the channel. And you've also seen that we have never had anything but success with their products on the channel. And now you know why. They know their product, they know what it'll do, they know how it'll perform and they just know it works. And that is really what matters, guys, it really is. But hey, thank you again so much. I thank really you. appreciate it. Thank you for stopping yep. by. Uh, guys, this video is gonna go up. I will get one of these on the channel for you, I guarantee, and we're gonna, we'll put it against the other guys, and I want you to see what these rounds will do to targets. It is amazing, it really is. So stay safe out there, guys. Now, guys, the blast intrigues me for a couple of reasons. Um, the blast intrigues me, and let me tell you why. Kind of like the stick shot the, from Pava Shot, right? I will tell you that the blast does not weigh as much as the stick shot. So you can tell there's a, a build difference uh, of sorts. What I will tell you is that the blast integrates a couple things that I do like, like a glass breaker, which I think is a fantastic addition, and everybody should have one of those. Um, they are very inexpensive. Guys, they're targeting these to come in around 30 bucks. If that's the, and they're the direct replacement for the Pepperball Compact. Now you guys know exactly how I feel about that launcher, but this one looks like it has potential. Um, we need to get some of these in here to test as well. So hopefully we're gonna get a TRP in here. We're gonna get some of those in here so that we can head to head them against somebody that we know puts out a quality product and we'll see what it actually ends up doing. And guys, we saved the best for last. I got to tell you, I finally got a hold of our friends at ParaOps. Now, last year, we had sent, well, I had sent multiple emails spamming throughout the company trying to find somebody to talk to about their launchers because they intrigue me. And uh, you know what? Let me show you why. Look at this. All right, guys, check it out. I, I saved the best for last. You know that I typically do that for you. I found our friends over at ParaOps, and you guys remember what they've got and what they did last year. Amazing product. So I want to show this to you. So I've got Sean over here, and I got Jim. Tell us a little bit about what you got going here. Absolutely. Jim, uh, Jim's the brains behind the operation here. Why don't you start with the, with the Pro 1? Well, the heart of all of our launchers is the LEC, the low energy cartridge. So a couple problems that we're trying to solve in the industry is air-based systems and improved accuracy. So if it doesn't go off, or it doesn't go off reliably, or it's inaccurate, it's just not interesting and it's not effective for law enforcement security or whoever the user is. So a couple things, cartridge-based system. So, which means because of a 209 primer, every cartridge acts like every cartridge unlike an air-based system where your first shot may be good good energy second shot a little less third shot a little less if you put the unit down use it tomorrow maybe all the air is gone so we have inherent reliability issues with air-based systems so we're trying to solve that problem not trying we solve that problem cartridge-based system and the new 209 that 209 primer is the only propellant in it correct that is the, the only, only energy which source. means that this is still not classified as a firearm correct it's interesting with the atf the, <laughs> the munitions are not classified yeah. but our atf of course says that is an aow of course so but uh, the the ammunition is is uh, certainly fireable by any 12 gauge shotgun like any awesome. other 12 gauge ammunition so cartridge based system with a, a primer mm -hmm. as the only energy source and on the inside is where we start to solve another problem which is accuracy so when you have a round ball a sphere going through a smooth bore back in the civil war days we figured out that wasn't the best way to do it and they came out with the Minet ball right right or the Minet uh, round so same thing here our power ops cartridges are spin stabilized because the cartridge casing is the barrel and it's rifled on the inside of the casing. Very interesting. So we also have matching rifling on our projectiles. So it marries up and I'm gonna spin the, the projectile to show that it's actually spinning the cartridge casing or vice versa. So our projectiles are spin stabilized coming out of the cartridge. That very, very cool. unique. And so what's that do for us? Spin stabilized. We have had, done accuracy tests where at 20 feet, you can put shot next to each shot. 
very, very accurate. It is as accurate as a nine millimeter or any other. Munition. What is the effective range on it? Well, in any less lethal, non-lethal system, it's 60 feet. Not that you can't engage farther, but in law enforcement security, if you're farther than that, they're saying, why are you engaging? Right. It's really a close range you know, by uh, by practice kind of thing. Yeah, because statistically it's what, three to five meters, right? You're talking nine to 15 feet on average. Correct. So, right, okay. The the cartridge and uh, the, the uh, rounds certainly have a range that's much greater than that. And again, we can do that with pretty good accuracy. I shoot it out of 40 yards routinely uh, with good accuracy. It's a lot like shooting archery. You just have to know what your drop's gonna be. Right. So the heart of our launchers is the LEC, the low energy cartridge. Two basic variants of that. Solid projectile. Kinetic round. Kinetic round, yep. which is great for target practice and for compliance. Mm -hmm. if, uh, if if somebody gets hit with that, it's not gonna kill them, but they're gonna know they just been hit and it has quite an effect. In the Army, we used to call that an attitude adjustment. <laughs> yeah, whatever they were thinking, they're no longer thinking they, it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Secondly, and this is just one of our, our payload offerings, we have a payload delivery system, and it's a polypropylene nose cone, and through that polypropylene nose cone, we can deliver a variety of payloads, powder payloads, irritant payloads, and yes, we can deploy liquids at distance through our system. So marking dyes. Marking dyes, irritant liquids, other types of liquids. That's huge, okay. So vastly, we think that is also an advantage that is vastly different than what's out there. Yeah, you're, you're, the you're, you're essentially taking the best of every one of them and combining them into one system. So instead of just having a pepper round, or just having a gel round, or just having marking, you can have it all in one system. That is huge. That's correct. All right. So from there, we go into our two launchers that we have, and we also have a shotgun, which we don't have, here, I um, saw that last year. Yep. <laughs> that was awesome. Yep, with our friends over at Charles Daly and yep. uh, Charles Daly Honcho. This is the professional series single shot. Why do we call it professional series? Because law enforcement people are professionals. So this is a single shot. It's designed to look like nothing. It doesn't look like a weapon. It's it's like a flashlight. It looks like a flashlight yeah. because it's a flashlight. Okay. Yep. Nice. <laughs> so it's a flashlight. So that means that the person using this has uh, a system in their hand that's available instantaneously and nobody else is aware of it. So what it ha helps to do is to de-escalate the situation. Because the minute you introduce something that looks scary, people get scared, right? So this is for the user, for any user, any officer can have it on their molly belt, um, ready to go at a moment's notice. They can be in crowd control, keep moving, keep moving. and. They actually have their weapon, if you want to call it that, deployed, ready to go. And the way this works is, once you need to deploy it, oh, wow. and a little cap opened on the yeah. end there, guys. Yep. And that punch it. Yep. And it's and a quick reload as well, correct? Very quick. That is awesome. Put the new round in, put it back together, and off you go. And guys, I actually felt the weight on this. This is very, very heavy. It's, it, it's a lot heavier than it looks. It is not a cheap plastic. That is a heavy, heavy, heavy launcher. So, right. awesome. so that's our single shot, and I'll leave that exposing. See how right. it works. Now, at the opposite of the spectrum is the Pro 5 Magnum, and we call it Magnum because we want it to look like something substantial. We want it if it's deployed that when people come in and see like their arm. Let's behave ourselves here. So it's at the different end of the spectrum. Also, it's a five shot um, with very quick interchangeable cylinders. Now guys, as he was saying, what's really cool about these is since the rifling is inside the cartridge, you're still gonna gain the accuracy even without a barrel. That is a Correct. big, big thing with this. All righty. So the accuracy is inherent to the cartridge, not to the unit. Awesome. So that's our offerings from Power Ops. The payloads are offered in, again in, in uh, marking powders, training powders, irritant powders, and of course the liquids that we talked about as well. That's awesome, awesome. Well guys, listen, I am going to work on trying to get a couple of these on the channel. I know you want to see them, you've been requesting it and you know who you are. 
They will be coming shortly. I promise we're going to work on it. Thank you guys so much for talking Appreciate to us. It. They are excited for it. We're be ex safe out there, guys. We're excited to help you out. <laughs> So this, the, the single shot that they've got, that is very, very cool because you can actually slide the top off, slide a new round in, slide it back together, and you can fire again on it. So it's not like a fire once and forget or you have to screw something off and screw it back together. It's almost like you're reloading a, a, a cartridge, which essentially it is. It's a cartridge. Um, the other one, dude, if you, okay, it, it's not what I would consider an EDC item. This is crowd control or uh, um, a compliance. If you have, if you, you use it in a job where you actually have to have some sort of compliance with people. But what I love about it is the design of the cartridges. So you've got a primer, which is actually what, and it's a 209 primer, just like all the other ones in burn on everybody else. But when it fires, there is rifling inside the cartridge itself. So it's putting a spin on the round as it's coming out of the cartridge for accuracy downrange. Guys, they were talking about hitting targets and plugging patterns at 60 to 100 yards with that. You saw it. Man, if that is true, and, and once again, we're not going to know till we get one on the show, we want to test it. But if that is true, okay. All right. I, I, you know what? I'm willing to hold judgment. I want to know it's true. I want to see it. And when I am, then we'll talk about it. This was not all the people that I spoke to at SHOT Show. But I got to tell you, these are the ones that I think it, that caught my attention the most. And particularly, Paradigm. Let me tell you why. Paradigm had one of those launchers set up as a long-range tactical sniper rifle. Everything is interchangeable on it. So they had interchanged the barrel. Yes, it will fire conical ammo. And yes, it is rifled. Which means that you're going to be able to get very good accuracy at 100 yards with this thing. Um, and I, I thought I got a picture of it, but I guess I didn't. But it is a full-on, literally, sniper rifle. It looked amazing. It really did. Um, that company, I'm seeing crazy stuff coming from. But hey, everybody, man, Mace and Salt Supply and Burn, everybody came out this year and really stepped up the game. And I can't wait to see what's coming next year. Have a fantastic night, guys, and a great week. Bye-bye.